So just a note about heat capacity. We defined heat capacity as being either at constant pressure or constant volume, but we ended up with the following two equations, which relate the change in internal energy to the change in temperature, and the change in enthalpy to the change in temperature. And as it turns out, we can use both of these equations under any condition. So we can use these whether or not the process that we are looking at is constant volume or constant pressure. And this can sometimes be confusing. So I sort of want to address the question of why can we use these for any process? And I will answer this for an ideal gas, but the exact same explanation holds. Um, whether we have an ideal gas or not. So to answer this, let's consider the of pressure versus volume for an ideal gas, which shows the isotherms on it. So the important thing here to remember is that the internal energy and the enthalpy are both state functions which means that the path doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how we get from state one to state two in calculating these properties. So let's say that state one sits right here and that state two sits right over here. So our ideal gas is going from state one to state two. We don't actually know how it gets there, but if we want to calculate delta U for that process, we can come up with a two-state, um, with a two-step process, rather. So if we want to find U, we're going to envision a two-step process, one at constant temperature and one at constant volume. So the constant temperature process will follow along this isotherm and for that entire process there is no change in internal energy because the temperature hasn't changed and then one at constant volume and for this constant volume step that's where we can sort of think that we are applying the heat capacity equation without uh, sort of violating the boundary conditions. So for that two-step process, we can find U for H, enthalpy. This was defined at constant pressure. So we can, again, do a two-step process. One of these can be at a constant temperature, again, for which there's no enthalpy change, and then a second at constant pressure. So in this case, something like this, and then we do a constant pressure step. So any process that we're interested in and where we are trying to calculate a state function, we could break up in this way. And then we can, as they are written, or as we saw them before, where du equals n cv dt and dh equals n cp dt.